Hello world. Today I'll be showing off how you can use the Open AI Whisper library to create subtitles or closed captions for your YouTube videos. Google's inherent subtitle program is okay, but um, I've read and I've heard from um, very big YouTubers that manually adding your own subtitles or closed caption is better for the algorithm and for your own search engine optimization. So let me show you what I mean. So if you go here to one of my videos that I've used this new uh, open AI whisper program for, I manually uploaded the subtitles and I'll show you what I mean um, when we get there. But now you see the subtitles little block underneath it. So I haven't done a lot of my videos yet, but um, when we play this video, and we click here and then we click the closed caption you'll see these uh, subtitles show up and they're capitalized appropriately and they have some grammar and all the ums are taken out you'll see punctuation and uh, you just don't see that in the Google's inherit program so now we'll check out the open AI github but first welcome to the 190th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. This is the third video in my YouTube playlist where I'm using Python to help me manage my YouTube channel and hopefully you find some of those videos interesting as well. And you can watch that whole playlist by clicking here. All right, so now let's check out this OpenAI uh, Whisper GitHub that we have. So um, just the normal GitHub, uh, it talks about how it works. Uh, it basically takes in a video and creates a translation for it um, and spits out a text file if you want to. And I'll show you how to do that. So the setup, it talks about how to uh, clone the GitHub. Um, but I'll show you how you can do that with PyCharm. And then you have to use the command line tool FF mpeg to be installed on your system and i'll show you how to do that with windows so um also the the model that it uses is up to you so you just have to know that the speed of it will determine so if you're just doing an english video and you know 10 to 15 minutes you can use the base or even tiny um if you use large, just know that translating the video is going to take quite a while, but it's probably a lot more robust of a transcription. So large, uh, maybe large, complicated political subjects. So maybe not entertainment. You can use the base. We'll use the base. Um, and it talks about how long it takes for all of these languages. Um, scroll all the way down and it gets to the Python usage. So we'll go into that in a second. But um, so the first thing you have to do, like we discussed, is download this FFmpeg. So you can go to ffmpeg.org slash download.html. I'll leave a link to that in the description. And assuming you have a Windows computer, if not, um, I don't have an Apple, so I can't show you that, but it's, I bet it's similar. So go to Apple here, or I'm sorry, Windows, and then go to uh, Window Builds from GYN. Yep, here we go. Dot dev and then you'll see the latest git master builds uh, you'll want to scroll down to the release builds okay so find this dot zip I've already downloaded it but download to your um, downloads or wherever you want and then once it's downloaded you can go to your downloads folder and it should be encrypted uh, you know a zipped folder so um, you can extract it, extract all. So go ahead and extract this, extract all. And then when you browse, just browse to your C drive right here. And then rename the file to just the folder to just FFmpeg, okay? So uh, all lowercase. I don't know if this is mandatory or not, but it doesn't matter. And then select that folder and extract it. All right, so um, once it's all extracted, go ahead and open it. And then you'll see this bin. So go ahead and navigate to this bin file right here. 
All right, and now you can go um, try going to environment. There we go. Edit the system environment variables. So I just typed in environment, but go here. And then you'll see this advanced, right? Go to environment variables. And you'll see this path right here. So go to uh, edit. And in the path, go to new. Well, hold on. Before you do that, um, click here, anywhere in here, and copy and paste that. And now go in here, click edit, go to new, and then copy and paste it. And you can see it's there. So that's uh, how you install um, FFmpeg. Okay, so now once you're done with that, um, you can open up your PyCharm. Okay? And then uh, you can go to File, go to File, New Project, name it something. Uh, I'm going to name it Whisper. Oops. Whisper test. Uh, go ahead and just new environment, virtual MV. I'm using Python 3.8, so just create um, this window. And then it's going to create a new project. And I will show you how to um, clone the GitHub so that way you have all the requirements and everything once this is set up. Okay, so you have this. Uh, new project started in PyCharm. So what you're going to do is go to, well, let's uh, go to the OpenAI Whisper GitHub and we're going to copy and paste the, I missed it, the GitHub for this. So right here, um, I think you just need the HTTPS right here. So let's copy in that. And then in PyCharm, we're going to go to VCS Browse VCS repository, or no, get from version control, and then you type in that URL. So let's clone it. Okay, so what it's telling me is that my, uh, this already exists because I've already downloaded this, but you'll just, your directory will be there and you just press clone. Okay. And then once it's cloned, it'll look something like this. This is what it'll look like. You'll have this data, notebooks, test, whisper. You won't have these two files, of course. These are my own files. So you can click anywhere in here and go to File, New, Python File. All right, I name mine Subtitles. You're going to get a warning that says, are you sure you want to edit this? And go ahead and click Yes. Um, I have no plans on pushing it or committing it, of course, because we don't own this. And so this is just your own personal project. And then we're just going to follow the code with one exception. And that is right here. I'm um, sorry. So this code right here, go ahead and copy and paste that and just paste it into here. So what we're going to do is change this load model to so import whisper um, let's change the model from base see how it says base to small and then you upload whatever video you want so i keep all of my videos in a central place so i just copy and pasted the path and then the file name of the video so this is a a video that i've uh transcribed i want transcribed then we're going to set up a variable called uh, lines equals result dot text or and then you pass it this text. And what we're doing here is changing this. They just have you print the result. And when you do that, it just shows up in your console. But we don't want to do that. So we're going to do lines equals result text. And then if you want to save it to a text file, which is what Google YouTube recommends, then um, that's how you, um, this is how you save it to a text file. So with open, and then I keep all of my materials for each video in a specific file, but you could save it wherever you want. And then file name dot text comma W for write, right? We're going to write those lines as F colon, and then f.write lines, which is up here. 
All right, so I think I have a uh, test video. And so when you copy and paste, so let's say you copy this, just know that it's going to copy forward slashes. You need to change those to back slashes because that's how Python works. All right, so what I've done is change the URL, right, to um, this whisper test video that I have. And I think I just say test, test, test. I changed the text file to what I want it to be called, whispertest.txt. And then we're going to run this program, right? So you can right click, run subtitles. And now this program is going to run. So for me, since uh, my model of the um, laptop I'm running, I'm going to get this small error that says um, using the right kind of, because it, what it's supposed to do is run off your GPU. And if it can't find it, it's going to give you this user warning. And it says, hey, this isn't uh, supported on a CPU, so it's going to change it's formatting to FP32 um, and so and now it's going to continue run until it's done so I'm gonna cut here and then I'll come back when this is done okay it's done and now we have this whisper test um, here this text document so let's open it up and it just says test 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 but you see how the first one's capital there's commas, there's period, and then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then even YouTube is, um, you know, has the correct uppercase. This is how YouTube likes it. All right, so now that we have this um, text file, you can go to your YouTube channel. Right, go to your YouTube studio. And then go to a, a video that doesn't have subtitles yet and click this one right here, this details. Then scroll down here to where, where it says subtitles. And uh, you can auto sync, you can upload a file, file or you can type manually. So go ahead and upload a file and do without timing, continue, and then you upload a text file that you saved, okay? And then it'll show up and Google is pretty good at timing it, but sometimes you'll have to move the um, the words to the correct place. I'm not going to show you because I didn't do this one. And then when you're done, you press done. And that's how you can quickly use OpenAI Whisper to do your own YouTube closed caption and subtitles. All right, so this is a pretty long video, so I'm going to stop here. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Like this video and comment and tell me if you're gonna, you plan on using this for your YouTube channel. And thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.